Hello and welcome. Today my presentation is on Sir Ernest Rutherford, a world-renowned chemist and physicist. Ernest Rutherford was born on the 30th of August 1871 in Nelson, New Zealand, the fourth child in a family of seven sons and five daughters. His father, James Rutherford, was a Scottish wheelwright who moved to New Zealand with his whole family in 1842. His mother, Martha Thompson, was an English schoolteacher from Essex. She, like Ernest's father, moved with her parents to New Zealand in 1855. Ernest received his early education in local government schools in Nelson. In 1889 he was awarded a university scholarship and was offered a place at Canterbury College at the University of New Zealand in Wellington. He received a double first in mathematics and physical science in 1893 and continued with research work at the college for a short time, receiving the Bachelor of Science degree the following year. In 1895 he was awarded the 1851 Exhibition Science Scholarship, which gave him the opportunity to study at Trinity College, Cambridge in England. This was a very prestigious position as not many foreigners were allowed to study at Cambridge at the time. Rutherford became a research assistant to J.J. Thompson at the Cavendish Laboratory. At Cambridge, Rutherford worked with Thompson on the conductive effects of X-rays, work which led Thompson to discover the electron in 1897. While at Cambridge, Rutherford became interested in the work of Henry Baccarel and his experiments with uranium. He started to explore its radioactivity and discovered that X-rays were not the only form of radiation. This led him to theorise about two new types of radiation, at the time unknown to science, which he called alpha and beta radiation, terms which are still used today. Another opportunity arose in 1898 when he was offered a place as Macdonald Chair of Physics at McGill University in Montreal. He immediately, he immediately left for Canada where he continued his research on radiation. His work with thorium showed that every radioactive element had a time period in which its radioactivity halved. This he called a half-life, and it became the basis of his 1908 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, along with his studies that radioactive substances form small elements with the emission of alpha and beta radiation. This work was completed with the help of a chemist from Oxford University called Frederick Soddy, who also later won the Nobel Prize in 1921. In 1902 they produced the theory of disintegration, which went against all ideas of atoms being the indestructible basis of matter. Alongside his work with Soddy, Rutherford considered a new type of radiation discovered by French chemist Paul Villard. He called it gamma radiation and, along with alpha and beta, is the most common radiation. He discovered that different penetrating powers of each form of radiation, gamma being having the most. While in Canada, Rutherford married Mary Georgina Newton, who he became engaged with while back in New Zealand. They had one daughter, Eileen Mary, in 1907. Rutherford accepted the pet place of Chair of Physics at Manchester University, a position where he would do his most famous and groundbreaking work. At Manchester, Rutherford experimented with alpha particles and as to what they consisted of. His work with, with help from Hans Geiger showed that an alpha particle was a helium nucleus, consisting of two protons and two neutrons. However, they were, had not been dis, nutri, neutrons had not been discovered at this point. In 1909, Rutherford worked with Hans Geiger again, and also Ernest Marsden on the structure of the atom. Originally, it was thought that negatively charged particles floated in a sphere of positively charged atom. This was known as the Plum Pudding Model. Their experiment worked by firing alpha particles at a piece of gold foil and measuring the deflection of the particles. What was expected was that the particles went through the foil undisturbed. However, although this was correct for most of the alpha particles, some were deflected and a small number were even re reflected back from the foil. This baffled the scientists studying the experiment and Rutherford had to devise a new model for the atom. The Rutherford model showed that most of the mass of the atom was concentrated in a high density positive nucleus in the centre and the negatively charged electrons moved across the, around the nucleus. This model was only slightly improved by Niels Bohr by suggesting that electrons moved in specific orbits work was, which was based on the work by Han Heisenberg and Max Planck. Before leaving Manchester for Cavendish Laboratory in Cambridge, Rutherford became the first man to deliberately change or transmute one element into another. He fired alpha particles at a pure nitrogen gas and converted them to oxygen atoms. This also produced a proton, but as they were not known about that, he thought he had detected a hydrogen atom. This result and other similar experiments showed that hydrogen nuclei were present in nitrogen nuclei and probably also other nuclei. He decided that as hydrogen was known to be the lightest atom, therefore had the lightest nucleus, then it could be a fundamental building block for all the other elements. In 1920, Rutherford published the findings of a new fundamental particle, which he called the proton. 
This discovery led Rutherford to theorise about a third particle, the neutron, which he had named in a lecture in 1920. There had to be something that compensated for the repulsion between the protons and the nucleus and, a u and used a strong nuclear force to keep the nuclei from flying apart. Also, most atoms had twice the mass of what was expected if their nuclei only consisted of a certain number of hydrogen nuclei, which suggested that there was something of equal mass to the proton in the nucleus. This theory was proven in 1932 by James Chadwick, an associate of Rutherford, who later won the 1935 Nobel Prize for Physics. Rutherford was knighted in 1914. He was appointed the Order of Merit in 1925, and in 1931 he was created first Baron Rutherford of Nelson, New Zealand, and of Cambridge. He was elected Fellow of the Royal Society in 1903, and was its president from 1925 to 1930. Amongst his many honours, he was awarded the Rumford Medal and the Copley Medal of the Royal Society, the Bresser Prize of the Turin Academy of Science, the Albert Medal of the Royal Society of Arts, and the Faraday Medal of the Institute of Electrical Engineers. He died in Cambridge on October 19, 1937. His ashes were buried in the nave of Westminster Abbey, just west of Sir Isaac Newton's tomb, and by that of Lord Kelvin. That is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.